Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and today I'll show you how to add a wholesale section to your online store using our WooCommerce Wholesale Pro plugin. It's really easy to set up. You don't need any technical knowledge, and you don't need to take my word for it either. You can just check out these reviews written by our happy customers. Like Pascal here, who runs a liquor wholesale shop in Switzerland, he says, I needed a solution that gives me all the opportunities to create a B2C and B2B shop in one installation. The plugin gave me all the opportunities to create different user roles and set the prices on the products. I actually did a lot of evaluation and testing on this, so I can highly recommend the solution for people that create a wholesale or B2B shop. Also, I have to give a big thanks to the support that is very competent and quick. Or take a look at Brian's review. He's an entrepreneur selling a unique sporting product and he needed to add wholesale to his online store. I searched long and hard and finally found the perfect wholesale plugin for WooCommerce. Wholesale Pro is exactly what I needed. What's even better is their support staff. They've been very quick to reply and extremely helpful. Thank you. So if you wanna add a wholesale section to your store like these customers, as well as many others have done so, then follow the steps in this video. Here's a full overview of what the plugin can do and what I'll be showing you in this tutorial. You can add wholesale users to your site manually, or you can allow people to register with an option to moderate new accounts. You can then create unlimited wholesale user roles, and each one can have different wholesale discounts and pricing, either set globally or for specific categories, or even for individual products. You can also choose which products are going to be visible publicly to everybody, and which are wholesale only. You even have the option to make your entire store private, allowing only wholesale customers to access it. And if you use WooCommerce Wholesale Pro with our other plugin, WooCommerce Product Table, then you can also create wholesale order forms, which are a much more efficient way for wholesale users to purchase products. They already know what products they want to buy and they're familiar with your inventory, so they just want to add what they want very quickly, choose quantities and variations, and add them to the cart from one page, which is what you get when you use Wholesale Pro along with Product Table. So now let's go back to the beginning and I'll show you how to set this up on your site. To get started, we need to install and activate the plugin. Use the first link in the description below this video to purchase the plugin or test out a live demo on a temporary website. From that page, you can also bundle in Product Table together with Wholesale Pro and save a huge amount at checkout. After purchasing the plugin, you'll get an email with the zip file and a product key for activation. You can also download the plugin from your account page on our website in the download section. In the WordPress admin, go to plugins, then click on add plugin and upload plugin, and then add the plugin zip file that you just downloaded. Click install, and then activate. This will launch the setup wizard and we can use this to activate our license key and configure the main settings. If you don't see this, just go to the plugin settings page where you can then paste your license key and activate. You can choose to display a registration form on the wholesale login page. And I recommend this if you're just starting out. You can also choose to moderate the new registrations, which I also recommend. Then you have the option to disable tax for wholesale users, which you should only do in certain circumstances. Then click next. Here you can set up a global discount for your basic wholesale role. At the moment, it's set to 10%, and I think that's okay, so we'll click on Next. We also have the option to update the store layout using the product table I mentioned before. We'll get to this later in the video, so let's click on Next. At the end of the setup wizard, you'll be given a list of options for what to do next, and I think it's best to simply just go to the settings page so we can go through all the settings together. You can always access this page by going to the WooCommerce settings, clicking on the wholesale tab, and finding the general settings tab. Now, when you first install the plugin, it automatically adds a wholesale login page to your website. You can choose which page you want this login to appear on, or you can just leave it on the default page set up by the plugin. You can also modify wholesale registration and the moderation of those registrants like I showed you in the setup wizard. Then there's also your main wholesale store page. You might have a separate page set up for this already, or you might want to use the one set up by the plugin. You can also redirect to your wholesale page from a URL, and you can also redirect registrants to a specific page after they've registered. There's also two different price visibility options. One shows the original price crossed out, which is nice for showing the discount that is available, and the other one hides the original prices. I prefer the first option. Another powerful feature of this plugin is 
to hide all your prices until login happens. This is for specific stores that only want to sell to wholesale users or only want to show their prices to people who are logged in. I'm gonna leave this unchecked for now. However, if you do check this box, it's a good idea to add some alternative content so users are aware that the prices are hidden. You might wanna add some text, something along the lines of price hidden until login, as an example, and disabling coupons, as well as allowing admins to see your wholesale pricing. When all your settings are looking good, you can click on save changes. So now we'll move over to the roles tab. So if you wanna charge different prices to different users, then you need to set up different roles and assign your users to those different roles. And we can do that in the roles tab. So here on our role settings, we can add a new role using this big button here, and we'll give it a display name of tier two, and the discount will be 20%, which is an increase from our base discount of 10%. If you want to make this the default role, you can check this box, but I want that to be my 10% tier. If you want this tier to have product specific pricing, you can check this box as well as product specific sale pricing. And finally check this box if you want the wholesale discount to apply even when a sale is running on the specific products. So be careful with this one as it can lead to some additional discounts. These last settings will inherit your global settings unless you change them. Then let's click on add role. You can always edit an existing role using the buttons here as well as viewing or adding the users to that role using the buttons on the right. Now I'm going to skip the layout options at the moment as we will get back to this later on in the video. So let's go to the emails tab. The first email is a notification that gets sent to your email address when you get a new wholesale user and the rest of the emails go out to the customers. You can click on manage to set up any of these emails more specifically. I'm not gonna go through all of these steps in detail, but you can update the text to match your branding, style and personality of your business. Then finally, we have the registration fields tab. Here you can add or remove different registration fields that you require from the businesses who are registering. You might require their business address, their VAT number, tax identification, or any other thing like that. And you can make the fields required by checking the box on the right hand side. Now, what if you want to update the pricing for a category of products and change it from the default pricing set up in the roles tab? Well, to do that, you just need to go to products and maybe find a category or individual product that you want to edit. And you can see here on the right, the product visibility. And in the member exclusive category that I set up earlier, this one is available for wholesale members only. So if I click on edit and scroll down, you can see I can set a specific wholesale pricing discount for this category, but I can actually do the same for any category. If I click on edit, I have the option to update the wholesale discount. So for example, instead of 10%, I could make it 15% and tier two could be 25%. I can also set the visibility to be specific for public only, wholesale only, or public and wholesale as most of my categories are set up. Then click on update. Now this specific category will be a little bit cheaper for my wholesale users across the board. The same steps apply for individual products. So I'll show you how that looks right now. If I click on a product like this Barn2 Beanie and scroll down to the price, in the pricing section here, and I can even set a sale price for tier two because I allowed that in the roles setup. Now just note that this is a specific dollar amount, so you can set this specific price rather than a separate discount percentage. If you don't set a price in this box here, then the global discount percentage will apply. Now, how do you manually add wholesale users or approve those users who have registered? Well, you'd simply go to the users tab here on the left and click on the wholesale tab up at the top. You'll notice here that I have one registered wholesale user and I can add a new one by clicking on add user. I can then enter all of their information and add their role as either wholesale, tier two, or any other wholesale role that I've set up. Once I'm finished adding all of their information, I can click on add user and an email will be sent to them with a new password and their account information. If you wanna see more information on this table, you can click on the screen options to see what other things might be available. You can also import users or migrate them from other plugins. There are definitely some more 
complex steps involved in that, which I won't cover in this video, but you can visit our documentation to read more about those steps. If there are any pending users, there'll be a separate tab up at the top, which you can use to approve them. Next, I recommend going to appearance and editing your site's menu. Now, depending on your theme, you may have a different location for editing this menu, but you can see I have all of this set up. But instead of member exclusive and member login, I want to set up wholesale login into my store's menu. So let's find the wholesale login and wholesale store page, and I will add them to my menu. And I'll just remove a few items to clean this up a little bit. Then I'll save the menu with the new wholesale items applied. Now let's check out our newly created wholesale section from the perspective of a logged in wholesale shopper. Great. So as I'm already logged in as an administrator of this site, you don't see the wholesale login login on the menu, but that's a good thing. However, if we click on wholesale store, you can see all the products which are labeled as wholesale as well as public show up in this section. And you can see here the prices, the original price is scratched out with the newer price showing up. Unless you have specific variable products like this hoodie, or you have to select the options to see the new price, or more specifically to see the old price and the new price next to it. But the discount is definitely showing as the main price. Now, I also want to show you what the website looks like from the perspective of a new customer who isn't logged in. You can see there's a wholesale login button on the menu. And when I click on that, I have two options, one for logging in and one for registering. And once I enter my details and log in, it'll look a little something like this page here where I'm already logged in. Now you may notice that the design of the store is okay. It's pretty standard for WooCommerce, but it's not really ideal for wholesale users. Adding a bunch of items from this store would really take a long time, especially if they are variable products where we have to choose from a dropdown and select these different options one at a time. So now let's change that to a table layout using the product table plugin that I mentioned earlier in the video. If you purchase WooCommerce product table as well, then now is the time to install and activate it on your website, following the same steps as before with the wholesale plugin. So basically just make sure you have both of the plugins installed and activated on your site for the next steps of this tutorial. Once you've entered your license key, feel free to skip the setup wizard for product table as we're going to configure what we want in the table builder by clicking on this add new button in the product tables section. First, I'll give my table a name. I'll call it a wholesale order form. Now the plugin is going to give you two options for how you're going to display the table in your store. You can either display it on a shop page that would be like your main store page or by using a block or short code. This could be applied to any page or even product pages. I'll click on this option and go next. I want this to apply to my wholesale store. I could even add it to my main shop page, but I want to show the difference between the two. So let's click on next. Now here's where we can configure the columns of the table. Each of the rows that you see here will actually be the columns going from left to right. So in the left hand column will be an image followed by the name of the product, a quick summary of it, the price and the buy option. There are many others that you can choose from, including a total price. So I think that's a good one I want to add before the buy column. I'll click on done and then I'll drag it up here. I'll show you how this total column works once we get onto the store page. Each of these columns also has an edit button where you can edit a few more settings about this column specifically. You can add a link that displays the product in an image or light box for the image column, and you can make the name of the product clickable, and there are even more advanced settings for column width as well. Now let's click on next. The table offers three different ways to add to cart. You can use cart buttons, checkboxes, or both of them. I'll show you both for this video. Then we also want to show a quantity picker for each product to make ordering multiple products much faster and easier. There's also an option to separate variations into one variation per row, but that can add a lot of products to our table. So I think it's better to add them as drop down lists. You also have a read more option, but that takes people to the product page and that's much slower. If you have a lot of items, which can be the case for wholesale stores, lazy load might be a good way to save on some of your performance. You can also set a limit of products that will load in 
one table. In search and sort, we can choose ways to make it easier for customers to find our products. For example, we can add a category filter or perhaps a tag filter brands, color, size, and so on. I like the idea of adding a category and tag filter for now. You can also choose the sort direction of your products, for example, price or simply name. You can also choose more recent products to show up first or products that are on sale. All right, our table has been created and let's see how that looks on our shop. In my case, I created a product table that will replace my main shop page. So let's preview how that looks now with all the settings applied. So here's our wholesale store, all set up with the different columns, the category and tag filters, and then the add to cart buttons here on the right. For example, with a variable product, if I choose a color and size, then you can see in the total column how much the price is for this item, and I can add multiple to cart, and that total will increase as well. If I add multiple items from several different rows, you can see I can add all nine items for this price or rounded to that price there. So I can click that button and all of those items are added to my cart. I can go to the cart and I can already pay for these items in a much faster way than without that table. Just to give you a quick comparison, to add the same number of products, I could maybe add one item at a time like this, or I'd have to go to each individual page, choose an option, choose a quantity, click on add to basket, and then go back to the products screen, find a new product and do the same steps all over again. Finally, if you're wondering why the table looks a little bit green, that's because there are actually some design options. If you go to product tables and click on the design tab, you can choose a totally different design, whether it's something blue, something a little bit in between, or just the default option. Then you can also further configure these settings by choosing different colors for the fonts, as well as all the different aspects of the table. Then you can click on save changes, reload the table and see if you like it. So that's been a complete setup guide for our WooCommerce Wholesale Pro plugin. Let us know in the comments down below, and maybe we'll be able to review your site in a future video. Click here to purchase the plugin or try a free admin demo. And check out this video next to learn all about WooCommerce product table. And of course, thanks for watching.